In this video I will talk about animations and gestures and how you can use them together. So tune in. After summer break on some weeks I'm now back. And this time I will talk about .NET MAUI of course, but animations and gestures and how you can use them together. So let's dive into Visual Studio. So here I created a new project from the template. I just cleaned it up and removed some labels. But we still have the default bot. You can see it there if you open the app, how it looks. We have the bot here. So what we will do here is that we will add some animations of the bot when we click this click me button. So we need to give the image a name. So x colon name bot, for example. And then we can go to the code behind and here in the button click handler we can write some code to animate this bot. So for example we can rotate it when um, we click the button. So let's say we rotate it 90 degrees so we will do bot dot rotation plus 90 to, to rotate it 90 degrees every time we click the button and we will set the length of the animation so let's say one second uh, and we also can set some easing like linear for example to have it animate in the same speed all the time and add a weight there okay now we can run this and see if it works Okay, now we have opened the app, so let's try and click the button. Yeah, it's rotating! Okay, now we also can add some other animations that we want to happen at the same time. So we can do like this. We put this task in a variable, rotate, and then we do another one scale so we can scale the bot also when we doing the animation so bot dot scale to bot dot scale uh, for example make it 25 percent bigger every time and we set the same length but we can set some easing to uh, bounce in for example to see how that looks so and then we use task when all to start those tasks at the same time and await okay let's run so here we have the .NET bot again and we click the button and it rotates and it scales and you can see that the scaling is not linear now, it's it's bouncing a bit because we set easing to bounce. Oh okay, what we also can do is that we can use some translation to move the bot. Uh, so we can do that too. So we do a translate animation, bot.translate to. And here we have X and we can use so we can say bot dot x keep it on the same x position then we take bot dot i and plus uh, 20 for example and same length of the animation like this okay and then we add it here so it will execute them at the same time so now we can click the button and we can see that it moves down a bit for every time we click it. Maybe it's easier to see if we add a higher value like 100 and we remove the other animations. And then we can just do like this. Okay, let's refresh. Okay, click the button again. Yay, we move it in. Yeah, uh, and as you can see now it's not moving anymore 
because bot.e will always be the original position. So if we want to uh, move it every time, we can do it like this. Bot.translation i. And now you can see every time we click the button, it moves the bot. So we can also do some more advanced animations where we can specify more exactly what we want to do. For example, uh, we can do an opacity animation like this. So then we need to create an animation object. New animation. And this want a callback. So we can do like this. Uh, we will pass value to the action. And then we can every time update uh, opacity to be value. So, and then we can set a start value like one uh, and zero, just to make it invisible when we click the button. But to make this run, we need to do like this bot.animate, uh, give the animation a name like. Uh, Opacity and pass the animation, set the time of the animation, a length, uh, thousand for one second. Okay, now we can run it. So click the button and we can see the bot disappears because we animate the opacity property. So now if we want to combine the animations with gestures, we can also do that. So let's go here and we will add a pan gesture. So here we can remove everything uh, except for the image with the, bot, with the bot. And instead we have a grid, uh, no spacing there. And to the grid we can add and to the grid, we can add a pan gesture recognizer. So we do that to the gesture recognizers property. Pan gesture recognizer and and then we will use the pan updated prop event like this. And then we can do some animations there. So we go back to the code behind. So here in the gesture recognizer event handler, we can update the position of the bot, for example, bot.translation x or translation i. We don't need to use translate to here because we want to have the direct um, position of the pan. So uh, total x and bot.translation i is e dot total i. So, and let's run this. Okay, and now we can move this around, but when we stop touching it, it will move it back. And the reason of that is we have total X is zero when the pan is canceled. So if we don't want that behavior, we can do it like this. Set status tab and check that it is running. And that means that we will ever Set, set it back. So we can do like this. Now we can move it around and when we stop touching it, it will stay there. If we want to, we can also accelerate this a bit. It can be useful, for example, if you want to swipe up a menu and you want it to follow your finger, but be a little bit faster. So let's say we can have it like the double of what you panning. And even if I say swiping, uh, when for example swiping up a menu, uh, you probably want to use the pan gesture recognizer because you want it to move when you move the finger, not just listen for swipe movements and then do something. And now you can see that the bot is moving faster than my swipe gesture. In many cases, as I said, I think it's good to accelerate it a bit because it can be very slow to just have it follow your uh, pan position. 
Okay, this was the basics of animations and a little bit about gestures and how you can use them together. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because there will be more videos about .NET MAUI. I plan to put at least one every week. So see you next time. Bye bye.